Hey everybody, this is Nita J again, and I am back for another video. This time I'm going to be talking about marketing yourself as a makeup artist. Marketing your business. Um, what do you need to do to market your business? Um, it's very important. So once you've started your business, there's a few things. Well, once you decide that you want to start a business, there's a few things that you want to do. And here's my trusty cheat sheet. Um, know your business before you start putting the word out there that you are a makeup artist. Know what you're doing. Know what you're trying to accomplish. Know your purpose of your business. Um, you want to sit down and you want to first write out a vision of your business. What do you want to accomplish? Do you want to just do print ads? Do you want to do photo shoots for models in the area? Do you want to do weddings and just focus on weddings? Do you want to do family portraits and do whatever you want to do? Sit down and decide what you want to do. That way you can, you can sit down and decide what goals you want to accomplish with that vision and what you need to do to get there. Um, write down a mission statement. Um, mission statement is just pretty much a short statement um, explaining exactly what the purpose of your business is. So sit down and do that first and once you make your, make your vision and your mission statement then you can move forward and start doing everything else. Um, second, know what businesses you offer. Before you approach someone and say, hey, I do makeup. If they ask you, oh, okay, what kind of services do you offer? What do you do? What kind of makeup do you do? And you're just like, um, I do makeup. Know your, know your services so you can go ahead and tell people when they ask you, what, what kind of services do you offer? What can you do for me, you know, to help me out? So sit down before you start telling everybody what you're doing at your makeup artist. Have a clear cut plan and sheet of what services you offer. Do you want to do makeovers? Do you want to do bridal makeup? Do you want to do photo shoots? Um, scan consultations? All that. Sit down and write down a list and a little explanation of each each service that you're offering. So you can let clients know when they ask you, um, what services do you offer? Oh, I do bridal makeup. I can do you, your bridal party. I can do this, that, and the third. And you can just spit it like that. And they know exactly, oh, she's on her, she's on her A game. I like her. Get, can you give me your business card? You got to do it. So, with that said, also, um, when you sit down to write down your vision and your mission statement, you want to focus on what's your target market. Um, that way you know how to promote your business. Who are you going after? Are you going for, like I said, do you want to just focus on bridal makeup? If so, then that way, if you, since you know your target market, you know how to focus your attention on that area. You know where to go to promote your business because you're only focusing on bridal makeup. So you know to go to bridal shops and do stuff like, you know, things like that. So you know where you're going because you have a clear plan. Um, next, now that you have all that out the way, you want to get out there and you want to start promoting yourself. And hey, I'm a makeup artist, everybody. Look at me. Take my business card. Okay. First of all, and this for me is a big thing. I mean, I know I'm chilling right now, my makeup's done, but I'm really in sweatpants and like a little hoodie or whatever. But when you're out and about, if you're a makeup artist, you need to market yourself as a makeup artist. Do not, I repeat, this is a big thing for me, do not walk up to somebody and say, hey, you know, I'm a makeup artist, could I help you out? You know, do you have any events coming up I can do your makeup for? But you have on no makeup, you haven't cleaned your face, your hair is not done, you... I mean, you can dress anywhere you want, but I mean, in the day people are looking at you, you're the face of your own business. So if you're a makeup artist, your makeup needs to be done. I'm not saying you have to look like you're going to the club and have on dark makeup and glitter and big flashy lashes and you have to have your hair laid 24-7 and all that. So you don't have to do that, but just look presentable. I mean, you, like I said, it's your business. You're the face of your business. So when someone walks away from you after you've made your little two second commercial and say hey I'm a makeup artist can I do anything for you they're gonna remember you and then later on they're gonna see your business card and say oh yeah I remember her her makeup was fabulous let me give her a call I mean I'm not saying you have to be done up put a little foundation on a little powder um, lip gloss mascara blush on the cheeks just a little bit just so you look presentable do your hair comb it however you want to do just look presentable you don't have to wear a suit but makeup artists, you know, we have a little leniency with what we wear, so we don't have to wear a suit if you don't want to. I wear cute jeans and pumps and a nice little jacket and blouse and I go out. But, you know, I make a lasting impression. That's what you do when you're in business, especially by yourself. You're the face of your own business, like I said. 
So you want to make sure they remember you and say, you know, here's my business card, you know, have a good day. You know, make sure you call me if you need anything or your skin is gorgeous. Um, um, have you ever considered modeling? I need to get some models for a portfolio I'm putting together. Can I use your face? And I borrow your face. I've said that to people before. And they're like, oh my God, I've never been approached like that before. I mean, you never know whose day you might make by saying something like that. But it's all in how you market your business. Um, marketing materials. Um, really quick. Marketing materials is your business cards and your website. If you want to get a t-shirt made, um, flyers, things like that. Business cards is a must. You have the first when you decide that you're going to be in business for yourself, and you write down your mission statement and your vision and all that stuff. Get your business cards right now. Just order them now. Um, the website that I use, I've used certain websites, but the cheaper ones, www.vistaprint.com. V i s t a p r i n t dot com. You can get free business cards up there, something simple, clean, and the only thing you have to pay for is shipping. I've gotten like 500 cards for like 7 bucks, and my cards are just black and white, have my name, all my info, website, and all that stuff on it. Website. Clean website, simple website, get to the point. If you're going to be makeup artists, I mean, have your pictures, have some pictures of your work up there, um, a brief overview of your services, um, just make it clean. And presentable. Don't distract your future potential clients with a whole bunch of zipping and music and um, bouncing stuff off the screen and flash and movies playing over here. And just make it clean. Let them find your services and say, "Oh, this is a nice website. Let me click here and contact her." Um, get in clients. Um, talk to people. If you you need to talk to people. That's how you're going to get your business. You talk to people and you need to get clients and then your business will spread by word of mouth. Um, talking to people, I don't, when I'm out, if I see someone with a nice face, I'm saying, I, I introduce myself, hey, I'm Marnita, I'm a makeup artist in the area. If you have any events coming up, you know, call me. And if not, you know, pass your business card on to someone else who may need my services. And there you go. Strike up a conversation. You know, be genuine. Though. Don't be phony. I hate phony business women and phony businessmen. Be genuine about what you're doing. And, um, I mean, oh, my mind just went blank. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. When you approach, What I do sometimes is if I don't have time, I do have a, a full-time job also, and I'm a single mom, so I have to make time for what I can do. So sometimes during the week if I have a day off, I'll take that day, I'll get all cute, you know, I'll wear a nice little pencil skirt and a blouse and some pumps and a little leather jacket, maybe a scarf or something, do my makeup really pretty, and I'll go to the mall. I might not have no money to buy nothing, <laughs> but I'm going to the mall just to get out and make contact with people. Walk up to people, say, hey, you know, I'm a makeup artist, can I help you, you need anything, you know, you have events coming up, or have you, if you're looking for models for your portfolio, if you're building a portfolio for yourself. Hey, you know, I'm looking for models for a portfolio I'm doing. Um, you can you volunteer your time, and I can give you free your free shots to build your own portfolio. And you know that way, the only thing you're really concerned with is getting a photographer. But um, meet people. I mean, have your makeup fly. I went to the Mac counter the other day, and the Mac artists were like, "Oh my God, your eyeshadow is so pretty." I mean, people notice things like that, and they say, "Are you makeup artists?" I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, just because the way you know you present yourself, be confident. You know, I'm about just have that attitude like I'm about my business and what can I do for you? Just have that kind of attitude. So, um, with that said, this is the last thing I want to say is just be positive and be encouraged. You're in business, business, you're in business for a profit, but at the same time, um, it can be some times where it's going to be low and you're going to be like, oh, business is slow, and you're going to get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. If it's your passion, work at it and stick with it. Um, Come on YouTube and watch me for some motivation. I don't know. Get on YouTube for some motivation. Look at other artists. I mean, it's just just be encouraged and stick to what you you love. You love makeup. You love the feeling you bring when you put that bride's makeup on and she's crying because she looks so lovely. If you love that feeling, stick with it. You know, um, market yourself accordingly and be positive and be confident. Always have a confident attitude. Say I'm a makeup artist and I'm about my business. Point blank period. No, I'm just joking. Don't do that out in public. Don't go to nobody and say I'm a makeup artist. Don't do that. Because I don't think they like that. And I don't know if 
people will respond to that well. Some people might, some, you know, just don't do it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything I've missed or you just want to chit chat it, um, hit me up, leave me a message. I have a new AIM name, so I'm going to put that in the comment box. So you can send me an AIM. I'm always on my Blackberry and my AIM is always signed on. So you can send me a message, send me an email, comment, all that. I love to interact with other people. So um, that's it for tonight's video. And I might have another one because I'm really bored. So I might make another one tonight. So um, that's it. Hit me up. All right. Thanks. Bye.